Joe Umstead is no idiot. I'm mechanical, I'm a laborer. I like to drive, let's see, truck driving, that's it. I drive all 48s. Dodge City, Kansas City, Water Pity, Sioux City, Ohio. <laughs> to me, a truck is a tool to make money. I drive all the climates, all altitudes, salt weather, low humidity. The most challenging is the heat environment. I like being able to operate at the higher temperatures, especially when you're in the southwest in the desert where you're 110 already outside. And the temperature ranges from minus 14 in the winter to 110, 112 in the summer. The miles on this truck is 904,345. I would imagine this truck has made $2 million. Evans, a leader in engine cooling solutions, has a lot of exciting reasons to promote their own products, but one story stands out. It's the Joe Umstead story. Came into California on Interstate 40 at Needles. Of course, summertime, 100 to 110. And as you come out of the river, you pull this long, hard grade. Well, that means your engine's working at maximum power and producing maximum heat. And you got, the coolant's got to get that heat out into the air. And there was a truck in front of me, and I was right on his back, and he couldn't stand it. He was fueling his engine at full power, too. And he blew a radiator hose and lost all his coolant and drifted off to the side of the road. And I got on the CB and I said, you don't want to run with me. I can run this hot, no problem. Joe Umstead, an independent driver, was having trouble with his coolant. I had silicon dropout, which clogs the radiator tubes. And it's costly to, you know, new radiators and oil coolers. After reading an article in a trucking magazine discussing the concept of non-aqueous coolant, he contacted Evans, and he liked what he heard. Made the decision I was going to try it. To make the changes to use Evans cooling, raise the thermostats to 212 degrees, temperature sender for the clutch fan. At high temperatures, you get a bubble on the cylinder line. When the bubble changes back to a liquid, it releases a lot of energy and pits the metal. Overheated engines is the number one cause of engine failure. Where Evans, the boiling point's over 300, you don't have to address that boiling point, you don't get there. Now I just use full power and I still watch the gauges, but I have no problem. It benefits anybody that uses it. The physics are the same, whether you're one truck operation or a thousand truck operation. And with Evans cooling, you put it in and use it. Fan draws 75 horsepower. If the fan's turned off, you don't have to burn as much fuel, which increases fuel mileage. It's just a, an, another benefit of the cooling. I have talked to Evans over the years, telling them how it's performing. It uh, performs as advertised and addressed all my cooling problems. My name's Joe, and this is my story.